I'll be ministering to you on the same topic I've been ministering on the 16 spirits mentioned in the Bible. And tonight, I just want to um, minister on two spirits that are very important to minister to you. And I want your attention because so many of you will be set free through this sermon. I want you first and foremost to know there is no any other power that can set you free apart from the power of Jesus. In a normal gathering where you are sitting and there are so many people and uh, a man of God is standing in front and he's ministering to you and you're sitting there differs with a gathering where a prophet is ministering. Take this truth or don't. Prophetic ministry is revelational. No wonder the disciples of Jesus said, Master, everyone is touching you. What do you mean when you say, somebody touched me? It is not every day as usual. This particular day, there was a woman who chose to think differently. She said, not today. I'm leaving with a testimony. She has been maybe in so many meetings of Jesus. She had wanted to book an appointment and Jesus never met this lady. She said, always I have tried, seems not to be working. And today I'm going to decide that a miracle is going to happen if I touch the hem of his garment. Prophetic ministry is revelational. This is why people who are so used to the atmosphere of God, they never get God speak to them. And you will never create. You see, people who God speaks to, if you want God to be talking to you like all the times, then create a scenario where you look at him as a new God every morning. Because his mercy is new every morning. And as I'm speaking to you, you may not understand this, but some of us, we approach God in a different way. I, I, may, I may be talking to you, we may be chatting like this, but in my spirit, my spirit is communicating with Abba, the Father. Amen. So tonight, somebody, just by watching, whoever they may be watching me now, they may actually receive something, even somebody in this room. Someone. Somebody shout revelational. Say louder. Revelational. Hmm. Thank you, Jesus. I will start with the seducing spirits. Somebody say seducing spirits. Say it again. Say seducing spirits. Hmm. You know when somebody just hears seducing spirits, the first thing they think is, oh, maybe they are to do with women or men. They are way deadly um, um, and dangerous beyond that. A seducing spirit is a demon. Of course, it has an appearance of a fish and with the body of a woman. But that doesn't mean that it only comes through that. It is a spirit. It's a demon. It is also known as a water spirit. Spirits of water or marine spirits. And this spirit is mentioned in the Bible several scriptures. And you may come across the spirit in one way or another. And you must be very careful because when this spirit comes upon a place, it makes sure it achieves what it has been sent to do. Say with me, seducing spirits. I repeat, seducing spirits, they have 
an appearance of a fish with the body of a woman. They are also known as marine spirits or water spirits. They appear, all these spirits we're talking about, their, their primary reason is to interrupt people and destroy people. Hello? Hello? Hi. They may attack you. Hear me. Listen to this teaching. This teaching will open your eyes. I promise you, it will open your eyes. So, how do they operate? How do these spirits affect people? How do you know that I have a seducing spirit or I'm under attack of a seducing spirit? Well, before you know about that, all right, before you know about um, the seducing spirits, I want us to read some scriptures. First Timothy 4, verse 1. Right? We read that scripture first. The Bible reads, Now the Spirit expressly says that in the latter times some will depart from the faith. All right? Some will depart from what? From the faith, giving heed to deceiving. Now, I want you to give me in King James Version. I want you to say something there. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter days, some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Some will depart from faith. What shall make people depart from faith? The Bible says seducing spirits. Oh, woman, you used to believe God. You used to in church. Yeah, I'm still in church, but uh, I, I, I don't know what to believe anymore. That person is attacked by a seducing spirit. If you are believing God for something, and all of a sudden your level of faith towards it, it is reducing. You are under attack of a seducing spirit. How does it work? How do you know there's a seducing spirit in your life? The Bible says, let's read again. The Bible says what? It says, now the spirit, this is the Holy Spirit, speaks expressly that in the, which days, these days, some shall depart from the faith, giving heed, paying attention, overtaken, copied, influenced by seducing spirits. The Bible puts it, it says it is the Holy Spirit talking that in these days, in the last days, people shall find themselves falling under seducing spirits. Are you ready for this one? Are you ready for this one? You can hear me, right? How many are following? Are you following me? Somebody says seducing spirits. This teaching is very important. And I want you to see this. Some now, go back to scripture. I want you to see that. It says, Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times, some, and around the word is some, meaning not everybody. Some, some shall depart, move out from faith. So, how do these seducing spirits operate? How do they operate? What are their manifestations? How do they manifest? How do you know that there is a seducing spirit over here? 
Now let's look at some of the manifestations. Okay? Now let me show you here. Number one, let's look at this. Okay? Number one, self-righteousness. Somebody says self-righteousness. You know, if you are start, if you begin to feel that everything is okay, even if things are not fine, you are under attack of a seducing spirit. The first thing it will seduce you, it is to give you a certain holiness that even if you know you're not, you will not repent, you will not change your ways because you are under attack of a seducing spirit. It actually, are you, are you understand what I'm saying? Yes. It actually, uh -huh, you don't understand what I'm saying. It makes you so comfortable that even if you are wrong, you want to say I'm wrong. Someone says seducing spirits. Seducing spirits. Now, when we hear seducing, we'll be like, ah, seducing. Hey, it is more deadly than you know. This is why whenever you are dealing with the things, be very careful not to fall under seducing spirits. They can seduce you to talk to your husband somehow or your wife is somehow just to make sure they break you and break your marriage and break your relationship. Am I talking to you? But you know, when you do that, they make you feel like you were not wrong. So even if somebody says you are wrong, you will want to see the wrong because they are seducing spirits. They'll bring a self-righteousness in you that you were right. Somebody say in the name of Jesus. Every seducing spirit. I rebuke you now. If you look at these things, the devil is so crafty. If you read the Bible in the book of Genesis, the Bible says that the devil was so crafty. In those days, this is like 6,000 years ago, whatever, how many years ago, the devil was so crafty, so clever than any animal that ever lived. The Bible says that. And you do that, so you won't even know it. So you'll be sitting like this in your house and say, oh, everything is well. You'll be singing, it is well, it is well, with my soul, with my soul, it is. And when you sit down, you won't even see where you are wrong. Because hear this, it takes the Holy Spirit to reveal unto you that you are under spiritual attack. I hope you're hearing me. Yes. Someone says seducing spirits. Now, when they come upon a person, they make a person righteous. You begin to feel things are fine. Even if you didn't pray for two days, you still feel okay. Even if your prayer life is going down, you still feel okay. Even if you're not praying like you used to pray, you still feel? Even if you are no longer like the way you vibrant, the fire, burning fire instead of the zeal and the passion which you used to have for the Lord, even if it is disappearing, this seducing spirit will give you this knowledge that, you know what? You're okay. This is what the Bible says, that the spirit shall make other people. It says, shall get heed. People shall fall under this spirit, giving their faith. The way you used to believe God, the way you used to pray, the way you used to fast, the way you used to enjoy your relationship with God. The Bible says they shall fall by the seducing spirit. Their faith. Go back to scripture. Go back to scripture. Now the spirit speaks expressly that in the latter times, some shall depart from the faith. Giving heed to what? Seducing spirits. So you find yourself that you are no longer like the way you used to pray before, but you won't even notice it. Because you are under spiritual attack. Self-righteousness. Number two. How it manifests. The spirit manifests. To some, it manifests in that way. Okay? To some, it manifests differently. Demonic fashions. 
Somebody say demonic fashions. And this is so dangerous. I want to tell you this. And hear me. If you hear all those people confessing from the demonic world who were devil worshippers, the first thing they will tell you in fashion, they say, we have been producing different fashions to copy people in the church so that they can find themselves in such fashions. Demonic fashions. People thought it was crazy. Some celebrities in America in those days used to post naked and all that. It was them in those days. But slowly, it was entering. And now, people even in the church, on Instagram, they're naked. And they're not seeing anything because that's how seducing spirits operate. Evil fashion. There's a lady called Black China. Black China. Some of you know Black China? Black China. Famous celebrity that so many people copied her. They left Jesus and copied her. And guess what? Last week, she gave her life to Jesus. And she went to remove her tattoo. And removed all the implants. She said, no, 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 I'm giving my life to Jesus. How many people are copying this lady? She was so demonic. And she had a, she had a tattoo of Behemoth. A devil face on her skin. And so many people were copying it. And she says, no, 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 no. no. I'm, I've given my life to Jesus. And she has even removed the tattoo. And there are people who copied it and died like that. Seducing spirits. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. It's, you know, evil fashions. And there, there are some fashions which come straight under the pit of hell. And your child copies it. And you are a parent and you're looking at it. And you, you don't know how the devil is entering your child. But that's a loophole. The enemy is trying to penetrate your family. For now, you, you don't see any problem. But trust you me, you are inviting the demonic attack to the family through your daughter. Through your son. And you may not know it. They are seducing spirits. And before you know it, the whole family is destroyed. Because you invited. Trust me, I'm not telling you things. I'm just coming from my head. I remember delivering a child who she was just being sick, sick, sick all the times. And I want, and, and the parents brought the child to me. to said, please, we want our child to be delivered. And the Holy Spirit revealed to me that she, at boarding school, she had borrowed a cloth from her best friend. And the attack was in this cloth. I'm telling the truth before God. And this child was delivered. When I, when I prayed against the source of the problem, the child was healed. The attack was in the cross. The attack was in the cross. This is why you have to be very careful. Very careful. Seducing so spirits. Someone say demonic fashions. Demonic just copying everything. Like, oh, no, 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 no. Me, I'm okay. It, it isn't just about you. What about what is happening with your child? What's happening with your, with your family? You must know seducing spirits. It's either the person is seduced or the enemy wants to use what they are dressing to seduce you. Say so seducing spirits. Seducing spirits. Are you here? Yes. Number three, attractions. Say attractions. attractions. This has nothing to do with the fashion. Attractions. Attractions. If, if you start just finding yourself being attracted by certain things which are not good. Just attracted. People are smoking. You feel like, ah. Can you imagine being a person, you're always attracted to people who smoke, people who drink, people who you are under attack of a seducing spirit. It is trying to seduce you to do it. It's attractions. 
Say it again. Attractions. Attraction. You're always attracted. You're always attracted. Have you seen, have you seen uh, places where um, people are doing all worldly things? If you move outside a church, you're just going to see a cross. Oh, that's a church. And you move next street where there are people are drinking and smoking. You see blue lights, yellow lights, green lights, all manner of attractions. And you're driving like, oh, let me stop. <laughs> you are seduced. <laughs> Why? Why only those places you find all manner of lights and all manner of things? They'll bring musicians, they'll bring anything to seduce people. Attractions. Somebody are watching me now, you're a victim of it. You're always attracted to such type of lifestyle. And you don't even know why. And it's evil. And you keep on, you're always attracted. It is a seducing spirit. It may not be you. It could be someone dearly to you. If you really love them, you would want them to be set free tonight. Amen. Say attractions. attractions. Can you, we move to another one? False prophets. Say so false prophets. The fact that there is an original dollar does not mean false dollar doesn't exist. Fake dollar is there. In fact, the existence of the original, it is what produces the fake notes. The same way in the prophetic the fact that they are true prophets, they are, it does not mean they are no false prophets. So many are false prophets. So many. And the four under seducing spirits. False prophets, false teachers, false pastors, seducing spirits. You may actually fall under them, sitting there, thinking, ah, oh, yet it's a false prophet. You must be very careful. That's what I told you before. I said, when people out there, when they're saying, oh, no, don't believe in prophets. I said, sometimes I understand them because the Bible says you must not just believe in a spirit. Test. So I mean, I don't judge them when they are doubting us because they have not tested, but you have tested. So you can actually say, oh, yeah, I understand. Actually, what you are saying is right. Even me, I was doubting like you, but I went to test. So before we talk, let's go together so you go and test. The Spirit of God, the Spirit of God, hear me. The people who fall under deception easily under false prophets are actually people who are in a prophetic church. Just because they're under a prophet, Whenever they hear any person doing prophecy, they fall easily. False prophecy, it is not godly. It isn't. If you fall under false prophecy or a false teacher of the Bible, you are doomed. You are doomed. They fall under seducing spirits. People actually go. People rushes where there's false prophets more. Do you know there was a spirit, the Bible said there was a young child who was following Paul. And the child was saying, these are true men of God. Was it a lie? It was true, but it was a seducing spirit. It was a lie. It was a lie. It was not God talking. And Paul stood up and said, you. He said, I rebuke you, I command you out. And the demon left. This thing was said, oh, somebody said this about me. Somebody said about, I just listen. I just listen. I need to be contrary to what I am seeing as a major prophet. Contrary. Contrary. Like, what? what are you saying? And you know me. 
because of humility in the prophetic, I'll be like, oh, wow, keep on praying. <laughs> because you see, when you stand there and begin to talk about this, no, 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 that's not God. Sometimes it looks like pride, like God only speaks to you. So, oh, 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 wow, 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 wow. But you must be very careful with the false prophets, prophets and prophecy. Be very careful. That does not mean some people won't tell you true prophecy. I have said, test the spirits. Don't you say, oh, I got a prophecy. No, test the spirits. Another sign, demonic signs and wonders. Demonic what? Magic. Magic. Seducing spirits. People actually, <laughs> people follow what they don't even understand. Demonic signs. The Bible says how the Antichrist will come. The Bible says he will perform so many wonders. So many wonders. So many wonders. Actually, the Bible says that he will perform so many wonders. And people shall flock to him and it shall be an antichrist. So what will make people follow? Wonders. What will, people, uh, what will make people to say, we want to go there? Demonic signs and wonders. And you must be very careful with the seducing spirits. The Bible says so many people shall leave their faith. Deceptions. Deceptions. Somebody said deceptions. deceptions. Sometimes, sometimes people are seduced not to do something. Because this demon will operate under deception and it will deceive you. Somebody says seducing spirits. Say it again. Say seducing spirits. You need to be very clever and grow up in faith because the enemy is after you. To some people it manifests in self-righteousness. They are so righteous. They feel so holy even if they are not supposed to be feeling that. You get me? Now, can you imagine? Can you imagine you being seduced? Being seduced. And you sit, you're just sitting there. And nothing wrong has happened. And somebody comes to, to seduce you. Just with a lie. Say, by the way, I was talking with your friend. And this is what the friend said about you. Immediately you are reacting. You are seduced. Now, are you, are you following? Yes. Say after me. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every, seducing Every seducing spirit. I rebuke you now. I rebuke you now. Say again. Say seducing spirits. seducing spirits. How do they operate? I've said to you, number one, they operate through what? Self-righteousness. Number two, demonic fashions. I want to be like black China. And black China has received Jesus. After you wanting to be like her. She has this, if you go on internet, many people are saying they're disappointed with her. Because they copied her. And she says, all what I was doing there was from hell. Go and, read and, and watch her, her confession. She says, all those things I was doing there, it was demonic. And the people were copying it. How she was dressed, she said, no, 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 no. All that. And there's somebody right now is like, I don't know what to do. I'm like, black China. <laughs> <laughs> she went and removed the tattoo, which she put on her skin. And some, someone right now has a tattoo like that on her skin. And Black China says, I'm removing it because it is demonic. 
What will you do? You don't even know why they removed it yourself. <laughs> you were say just. <laughs> you don't even know. And she has removed it completely. Her skin back. She has money. She went where they can remove it properly. No pain, no nothing. Everything is gone. You, you are now looking, where would I put it? Where would I move it? They will remove your skin. <laughs> are, are you here, somebody? Yes. Are you following? Yes. Are you following? Yes. Somebody says, seducing spirits. Seducing you must never, hear me, you must never fall under these spirits. Another manifestation, sweet talking. Somebody says, sweet talking. Sweet talking. Huh? You meet somebody, how they talk. Until you are seduced. Until you are convinced like I want to do it. Be very careful. Be very careful. You know people who sell items, most of them have that spirit. They will sell you a car you didn't want to buy. So there are people that you meet... They will sweet talk you. And you think, I think this man is a good boyfriend. Seducing spirits. Until you, you know how bad that man is. He has left you broken in pieces. Because you, you didn't realize a seducing spirit. After two minutes, hi baby, text message. 20 minutes, I'm sending you flowers. You're like, hey, I never deserved this. It's a seducing spirit. I'm teaching you these things because I want you to know. You're in a prophetic ministry. You must begin to know that. Wait a minute. If it's a good man, praise be to God. But if it's a seducing spirit, you need to discover it quickly. Most of you, what I'm teaching here, you have been victims of this spirit. And you know what I'm talking about. It's not like I'm teaching you something that you don't relate. You know what I'm talking about. You meet, you meet a, guy, a very good guy. The manifesto. Ah. Manifesto. He gives you all manifesto. Promising everything. Seducing spirits operate like that. You need to know you are in a prophetic ministry. Someone will come to you with a business idea. And they will explain it properly. You're like, oh. Be careful with seducing what? Say with me, say, I now know. I I expose you. You You seducing spirit. I rebuke you now. now. So what they do, they come through your finances. They come through your marriage. They They come in different forms. They can even come to your marriage or sometimes your mind. All of a sudden you feel like, I think I must give up. You are seduced to give up. And you'll be like this. And they'll come like, did you see there? They don't love you. Until today, are you seeing how they're behaving? These people don't love you. You think they love you. I think you should just give up. Stop this. The moment you're stopping, that's what they were trying to do. They didn't send a human being to attack you. The devil only sent a seducing spirit, a, a, very, a very small spirit, and you have fallen. Some of the seducing spirits. The devil, when he was dealing with Adam, he didn't come moving, coming there with, with the horns. No. It was a snake, a useless animal. Very useless animal. A snake's like, eh, ah, Eve. He's like, huh? He said, oh, how are you? Can you imagine the snake even took Eve for breakfast? They began to eat fruits. Why is that? And to eat, honestly, and you say, let's go to, to eat fruits. Are you already going with the snake? Going. There are people right now, they are going out with the snakes. Ah, uh, we are going out today. Ah, oh, today. Today is today. I'm going with my friend. We are going out. It is exactly the snake took Eve for an outing. She had a date with a snake. 
not knowing, moving together like this, talking. Ah, you know, ah. So he told you that you shouldn't eat. Yeah, ah, ha, ha. ah God, God, yeah, God. <laughs> and they're walking like this. <laughs> ah, so he said what? Oh, no, he said that if we shall eat it, if we shall eat it, we shall be removed from the garden. Ah, you know, he can't remove you. <laughs> ah, that, that one. He, he knows that when you eat it, you will be like him. And that is what is happening with some of you. Someone will just come with ideas that they look so like, oh, I think he's true. Someone will come with an idea. He will be telling you, telling you things which are not true just to deceive you. Seducing spirits. Be careful. Someone right now is being used by the devil to deceive your wife. Telling her things which are not true. Telling your husband about you. Telling your, your, your mother-in-law things which are not even true. Seducing spirits. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Yes. They manifest through one, self righteous two, demonic fashions, three, attractions. Your own child, just from nowhere, is attracted to smoking. Hear me. We have some, some of you here, you're watching me. You have sons, you have daughters. You don't understand their behavior anymore. One of my daughters came to me like, I don't know what about my, I don't know what's going on with my child. I guess they said, ah, she's growing up. But I, I, I knew what was happening. And I took the matter seriously. Because what happens is this, and I want you to hear this. Seducing spirits. They will go to your child and they will start giving your child ideas. They should begin to admire certain people that you, 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 you even be shocked. How can my child admire this life? And before you know it, the type of friends your child has, very shocking. You be like, but ah, how? My child befriending these people? She or he is attracted by seducing spirits. Seducing spirits. All you have to do is to say, I bind you. Seducing spirits. I bind you in my child's life. And I command you live. And they shall live. They are making your children to be seduced to drugs. Seduced to bad friends. Seducing. Say with me. Say seducing spirits. Attractions. So people, they don't understand how the devil is attacking the church. And you in church, and you are God's child. And you are there, you sing hallelujah, praise be. After that, he's, say, he's seducing you through a business. Seducing you through an idea. Seducing you through your own child. Seducing you through different ways. The Bible says, he shall come like a rolling lion. Seeking whom to devour. Stand up on your feet.